everybody and welcome to B Movie Badness. Okay, today I have my friends Ryan and Leanne at Last Resort watching. Say hello. Hi. <laughs> oh, pong in the mics. Pong, pong, pong. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I made them watch 1972's Invasion of the Blood Farmers, directed by Ed Allen, written by Ed Allen and Ed Keller. So, what did you guys think about the movie? <laughs> <laughs> I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I did. Mm. I really enjoyed it. I, I like. Well, I didn't fall asleep during it. <laughs> he fell asleep. He fell asleep. Like you're gonna throw me under the bus, like yeah, straight two away, seconds in. straight away. Yeah, no, I like. <laughs> <laughs> you would zone out you would zone out and we'd have to pause it and he'd be like okay what's happened and i'd have to tell you everything that's just happened we should have made a pact before we started recording that we weren't going to throw each other under the bus yeah no i fell asleep i i, I did you weren't paying attention you were messaging your friends you were... <laughs> loved it loved it i was engaged there was parts where i was like you have to watch this bit stop record us so we stopped it i paused it we round it and i was like right watch this and you still Which part? didn't Oh uh, yeah, it was the it was the guy waiting for the phone call, and and when he edited it, he must have cut it too soon, because he's just staring at the phone for like two three seconds, but like it rings and then he goes, okay, here's the scene. But then I I think scenes like that kind of make the movie. I, yeah, I loved the whole like janky feel to it. Like, yeah, yeah, no, it was it was hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we should tell him what it's about. Okay, it's about. A group of druids called the Sangroids who <laughs> drain blood from people in a small town called Westchester Chow- County, Westchester County, New York. They're doing this in order to resurrect their dead queen. <laughs> right. We, uh, we want to say to you as well, we went online and looked at the budget for this movie. Uh, have you, did you look at the budget? Yeah. Did you convert? Did you convert the budget? Because we know how much it cost when they made it in 1972, but we then went and converted it into what that would be in today's money. Oh, Ooh. I did it. What uh, is it, it? I think it was 24,000 in their time, which would convert uh-huh. to about 160,000. Where did that 160,000 go? Because it, cer- it certainly wasn't on the cameraman. It certainly wasn't on the actor. I, I think a lot of it must have just been film. The, the the actual film they recorded on because yeah. i know that's expensive and obviously since digital took over it just gives access to everyone renting the cameras yeah because that nowhere else did that money get spent <laughs> like the the fake dog that he kills like <laughs> <laughs> like that was a teddy wasn't it what just no i reckon it was just some lady's coat and they were just like flopping it about a little bit yeah that, what, that what? scene was funny because it was like the dog's coming after you. He was like limping, but not limping. Sometimes he forgot that he was meant to be limping. And then it was the same when they were bringing, when they were bringing the body out of the car. And it was like, oh, his limp's gone. He's carrying the body through into the barn. And then all of a sudden, like he's walking back to the car to get the second body. <laughs> his limp's come back again. It was, it was all over. The... Normally when you watch these type of films, there's like one person where you're like, this person at least is like doing his best. It felt like no one was doing their best. No, but they were overacting. No. They were overacting. So the um the 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 paleon not paleontologist, the um the pathologist, the um the the scientist guy. But one of the thing right, with acting, it, it's meant to feel like a real conversation between two people. Yeah, they were literally script reading. They they were <laughs> waiting for their line. They're like, right. Yeah. You say your line, I'm going to say my line. It, it was hilarious, wasn't it? But the actors <laughs> thought that they were really good actors. So they thought, this is did. my big break. I'm going to be so famous after this. Especially the um, the king, not the king, the, the guy who's um, the husband of the, um, the queen. Yeah, and, yeah, him. Yeah. He was so serious. Yes. The way he was talking, yeah. I will reject my queen. I yeah. will. <laughs> <laughs> I said to Ryan, um, he, what did I say to you? I said something to you. I don't know, but yeah, it, you weren't it, paying attention. It, 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 it wasn't like as bad as like the famous Troll 2. Oh, so, I love that like, movie. Troll 2's got like a cult following. Like you said in the messages that this had a cult following. Yeah. 
I can't it's imagine the, it's very big. It's on it's on Blu-ray. I have the Blu-ray. We saw that. You Yay. have the Blu-ray. My commentary would just be an hour and a half of apologizing. <laughs> <laughs> I'd just be like, I didn't mean to do this. Like it, it just escaped me, you know? But it it felt like the the film was just kind of like so much it built it up to be a moment and then it kind of like plateaued a little bit. Then all of a sudden it's like, right, last five minutes. Now it's done. It's like, if there wasn't any big dramatic... I wish I could comment on the last five minutes. Yeah, you didn't even watch it. You didn't even give the film the respect to go back and watch it this morning. You're like, nah, it's good. We're fine. We got this. Oh, my God. The ending is like the is one of the funniest part. It's yeah. so stupid. I know. I know. Stop looking at me, dude. Well, yeah. I want you to comment, but you can't comment because you didn't watch it. What do you think of the movie? I liked it. It's it's stupid fun. Um, there are some parts that I think they could have edited out. Um, the movie was only an hour fifteen, though. If you edit yeah, any more out, it's just some slow parts to it. I think um, that's the whole movie, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> But they don't really explain too well the backstory of who they are, what they're doing, no. and no, they didn't. what their aim is in the first place. We just kind well, of like... maybe there's room for a prequel. Ooh. <sighs> like, so they're draining the blood out of these people. Like, I, I fell asleep. <laughs> what, what was the, what was they doing it for? To, to give to that queen lady who yeah. was yes. asleep. Yeah. Yes, to give to her, resurrect her. So what were they doing with the bodies? They, they were in the hut when Did... the policeman, who always wore his shades, oh, yeah. like shout out yeah, I liked to the him. deputy, who was always wearing his... He, um, yeah. he, so when him and the boyfriend went to go in, like, find where they were, like, taken to, the policeman went into some sort of, like, barn thing, and he was followed by a guy, and, um, and all the bodies were just kind of, like, strung up. Right, okay. Yeah. Outside. Um, but like, what was up with like? Was it a magic staff that he had? Because yeah. the, the staff with the red thing on the top of it, he seems just the farmer like, guy. Yeah, like he seemed to just go like ting, and then they were just like, Ugh. like. Did you notice the guy who the farmer worked for? I know you don't know who it is, but you might know who it is. Um, he looked like Jordan Peterson. Who's that? Right, Jordan. you don't know who Jordan Peterson is. He's just some like psychiatrist weirdo Canadian dude from Canada who's always like men do men jobs and women do women jobs. He just looked like him and I'm just like who is this dude? Like, <laughs> I've seen your face. <laughs> He's one of those. I the guy that played Kinski. That's his name. Um, he couldn't remember his lines so he had to go by cue cards. <laughs> that makes sense. That's what... Um, that's I, probably what half of them would do. I, I would normally judge that but that's what... Um, Who's the main actor in The Godfather? Marlon Brando. Uh, Marlon Brando. Brando, they would stick cue cards on the other actor's body parts. Uh, okay. But Marlon Brando was like top billing. He played like, when you, when you look at the cover of The Godfather, he's the guy on the cover. Mm -hmm. the, who everyone does the impression of. The whole movie felt like it was stop, start, line, line. Has anyone ever compared this movie to The Godfather ever? <laughs> Uh, I this have a movie. confession. I have a confession to make. I've never seen The Godfather. I haven't either. Don't worry. I haven't either. Okay, guys. I, <laughs> <laughs> I just... <laughs> I don't know why I haven't gotten around to it. I've said for the past two years that I'm going to watch it, and I don't. <laughs> no. uh, like, I don't want to derail your show too much, but we derail everything. I watched a movie the other day called Red Rocket and it's about a dude who like washed out of the porn industry and he goes <laughs> back to like, um, I think he goes back to a place in Texas. He, it's around like the Midwest mm -hmm. and then he, he just starts selling weed and he meets like some 18 year old girl who works in a donut shop and she sort of falls for him and he's like, I'm going to take this girl to LA with me and I'm going to shoot a bunch of porn with her and she's like my Ticket it back into the porn industry and it was just like a weird indie film but it was like it was pretty entertaining the main guy the main actor was mm -hmm. um have you seen scary movie three i assume 
Yeah. You know the you know the tall skinny kitty who's like the Eminem rapper B Rabbit character. It, it's that actor, but it was like a movie from last year. It's actually pretty good. Have you seen Malignant before I spoil it? Yes, I've seen it. That crazy. Oh, That's the one where the she has the, the twin on the back of the head. Okay, yeah. Yes, yes. So a lot of people seem to like him, but I haven't seen a good movie from him yet. No? No. Mm. I think his what? name's James Wan. Oh, you're calling the mirror? Yes. Yeah, James Wan. <laughs> Step your Aww. game up, boy. Oh. We're coming for you, pal. Wow. <laughs> when I see you, I'm going to give you a headlock. Scrub that head. <laughs> Pip <Pip-tool. Pip-tool. laughs> <laughs> I think he did. I think he did a Fast and Furious movie. Yeah. So we know how much we love the Fast and Furious movies. Yeah. Step your game up, James Wan. <laughs> Did y'all notice in Invasion of the Blood Farmers, the blood, um, it looks like fruit punch. Yep. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Kool-Aid. Yep. Like, was it expanding? What was with the whole, like, did they... Did they... Did they mix the blood or did they put something with it and it just causes it to like expand and bubble up? Like, I didn't get that, wasn't really explained. No. So stupid, Embers. I don't get why when they made the film, they didn't go to um, just like a slaughterhouse. Why well, just get a bunch of blood? Yeah, just get some pig's blood. Mm-hmm. It's gonna yeah. look better than what he had. Yeah, but do you reckon they're actually. Water are gonna... with some colour dye in it. Yeah, but yeah, they wouldn't have done that. Would, mate, you wouldn't take some pig's blood on you for a movie. No. Yeah, they could use like golden syrup and like. If it makes you feel better, it's cow's blood. I don't know. Well, Pick your animal. It doesn't matter about the animal. Pick I just don't animal. want any type of blood on me. Why? Why? Why would you want blood on you? I'm not saying I want it on me. I'm just saying for the for the part, I'm gonna do my part, and then I, you're gonna shower afterwards anyway. <laughs> I'm not gonna get pig's blood on me and then go shopping. I'm gonna. They never explained either about the guy at the beginning of the film. Like, did he escape? Did they? Oh, like, yeah, yeah. They were they were um, attacking him, and he got away. Yeah, he right. was just stag- staggering around. That was yeah, the funniest part. We were, is it a zombie film? Has he been bit? We is were singing. Like... I was singing the Phil of Freem yeah. tune over when he's walking because he is walking and dancing like he's in Michael Jackson's thriller. <laughs> <laughs> I've read that they were supposed to be aliens. Oops. Don't say you don't know what a druid you call is. Yourself British and you don't know what a druid no. is. No. Why would like, I... World of Warcraft? Like you, it's a... you, you... I've never played World of Warcraft. No, but you you select. Do you want to be a mage? Do you want to be a, a I've rogue? never loaded the title a... screen, dude. <laughs> like you're you're <laughs> sounding you haven't seen The Godfather and you're chatting shit to me <laughs> about fucking not playing World of Warcraft, dude. No, but I just say it's not just World of Warcraft, even in Diablo. And Through I gave... my teens, I was out with friends, doof. <laughs> you should still know what a druid is. No. Before I was interrupted by my star falling, I read, <laughs> <laughs> I read that the blood farmers were originally, they were supposed to be aliens, but they didn't have enough money for the space equipment. Well, that kind of makes sense. What space with... equipment would you need to make someone look like an alien? No, they've just got to, like some on a stick. <laughs> no, no, but, <laughs> but like when you watch alien films, like I, I'm sure you've seen the film Species. Yes, I have. The lady just looks like a lady. Mm-hmm. Like, granted, they have scenes of her like showing that she's an alien, but you can just imply that stuff. Yeah, but I, they could have just been yeah, aliens I, with I did, like the implication of it. Yeah, I did think that Kinsky character was a bit like alien esque. Yeah, it was a bit like because like again derailing it. The the Dark Knight with Batman. Where's he right, going with this? They imply that they hang people off the bridge, but they don't show it. All you have to do is imply it. So they could have just implied it a bit harder that they're aliens, and you would have bought it. You don't need to see green tentacles coming out of it. And also, what was up with the key? So obviously, like he was, and he was just like in his chinos with his like jacket on his back, just like la di da. They never pay off find... the key. Well, they they the key gets the whole Kinsky into the the kind of like the the scene of it because it's like oh, it's just like and obviously it's some magical key, but he's just paying it off as some like penny tuppence. 
right key but what does the key do does it does the key hold like does it open the case in which the the obviously, queen is obviously i passed out mate i didn't know that there was no payoff for the key i would assume that the key opened something and that was the no, ending of the there, film there was no dramatic key we need the key yeah oh uh, yeah oh. just you said the forest the girl lying on the rock in the most uncomfortable yeah, like, fashion like you would know oh, oh, i did have a jump scare yeah, I you did, did have a jump scare. Like when um when was it? When they were <laughs> they were in the hotel and um all of a sudden the guy's face just kinda of like popped up like, Ooh, and I was like, Ooh uh, <laughs> The staff just like tingling all of a sudden she's dead. That is so stupid. I mean we didn't show what he did to her. Like yeah. hit yeah. hit harder, hit harder than that. It's like t- Yeah. Blood I like, that's why I thought is it some sort of like magic staff and then there was one point he was like biting into people's faces at one point who was it that he was the lady who was chilling on the rock oh it was her yeah so all, he like tink and he got blood all over her head and then he's coming and he's biting at her neck and everything but she's got no bite much she's just got a bit of tomato sauce blurring on her what? Had a, D- yeah, Dawn of the so. Dead had a £640,000 budget yeah it makes sense because it looks good it holds up R.I.P. Oh. Uh, Romero. Crazy. So yeah, it makes sense that the film that we watch has only got twenty four thousand in it. Now, that has yeah. Like you think investing in horror movies is sexy? Well, well, look, right. Here's the thing: if someone, if you had ten grand to invest in something, yeah. and someone goes, "Are you going to buy cryptocurrency or are you going to invest in this horror film?" Which sounds better to say to someone? No, I wouldn't say it's sexy. Well, it's exciting. Will you. Fill in the word you want, bud. Um, did y'all notice in um Blood Farmers that there was a rattlesnake sound, but you couldn't hear? Yes, you couldn't see. You couldn't see the rattlesnake. Yeah, I was like, what the hell? They would change the scene, and all of a sudden, they would put this like. Kind of like weird noise on top of the scene, and it's like that's got nothing to do with anything. I I think there's some sort of rattlesnake inside of the staff that would make sense because it was kind of like around that. But there would be like random shots on the, like they'll be focusing focusing on something, and they'll just change the scene to like a picture of the house, and it would just have that kind of sound on it. Like yeah, again, like I I yeah. think they must have spent all their money on movie stock because. You just wouldn't shoot it that way. No. It, it was very weird choosing. <laughs> and the scene when they were in the, um, where were they? They were in the laboratory and then like he, he just like looked into nowhere and the camera went down. I, I reran that like two times for you to watch. Mate, I can't if you're that. talking about bizarre choices in that film, we may as well just watch the whole film. And just <laughs> There's a lot of weird film. camera shots, a lot of changing angles, a lot of... <laughs> And, the, and then when he was in the shower, they spent like three minutes of showing him in the shower, just washing. I, I think as well, like, obviously a lot of films come after Psycho and Psycho set the bar for a lot yeah. of films. So just having like a shower scene. They were just copying. Yeah, but they just yeah. did it terribly. Ooh. The first question I've got to ask is, is... Is it in the wrapping? You haven't taken it out of the wrapping? It's out of the wrapping. Oh, yeah. it what I need to know... Is how much did you pay for that Blu-ray? Was it a lot? Because I imagine it was a lot. I can't think there's a lot of big print in. No, I paid eighteen dollars for it. I got it on eBay. I got it for seventeen ninety nine. There's a lot of crazy people out there, and you're one of them. (laughs) (laughs) But yeah, okay. The special features. Auto commentary with director Ed Atlam and actress or Trump Tipple. Um, nothing you'd show your mom. Eddie Atlam's journey through exploitation, coin op, and rock and roll. Painful memories. An interview with cinematographer <laughs> Frederick Elms. <laughs> I am going to seek out that commentary. I, I am more interested in that commentary than anything else. You want to rewatch the film just to watch the commentary. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Me and Leanne, I think I, I think I said to you before, 
the amount of episodes we've recorded and never released and seen the light of day because we just start going... Our, we bicker. Yeah, we bicker. I'll start going off about something. Leanne will say, that can't go up online. <laughs> I enjoy your show. Like when I first saw the, the first episode, I was like, I love these guys. <laughs> <There's>, <laughs> these are we my both... kind of people. <laughs> <laughs> We've gone in a very different direction since our first episode, haven't we? And we've got a rap contest. Yeah. Because oh. <laughs> I always said like, we should have like a wrap around of what we're, we're going to do. And Leanne wants to do Ryan vs. Leanne as like the mm-hmm. theme. So our first contest that we're doing is who's the best MC. Oh, that'd be exciting. Yeah. I can't wait. <laughs> I, I, I personally think I'm going to win every week, week in, week out. I am extremely competitive. Leanne is very competitive. Very competitive. But we're going to do an open mic at, at a later date, see who's the funniest comedian. What? Well, yeah. I'm not funny, though. No, nor am I. But we'll give it a go. That that will be... That's in the back pocket. <laughs> A complete whack job of a film, a mind-numbling, bizarre attempt at low-budget horror that's always entertaining and absolutely worth seeing. <laughs> I, I, uh, Maybe not the absolutely worth seeing. Wouldn't you? That's the only part I agreed with. Really? It's definitely worth seeing. It's, it's out there, mate. Yeah, like, I did enjoy it. And like, if I enjoyed it, because I didn't enjoy thing i don't know oh, mate we're not getting into that <laughs> oh lord I, I definitely think it's worth watching because if you like watching a movie like that gives you an appreciation for good movies so the person who fell asleep through the movie he wasn't paying attention <laughs> to the movie it's now recommending people to watch the movie because <laughs> wow oh my god okay. if you don't watch that movie kill yourself that's that's my oh, review of the oh, movie. Oh. Put that on the back of the disc. You can't be. <sighs> this is why we don't put out a lot of episodes. <laughs> oh my god, y'all! Are... Oh my god, y'all crack me up. <laughs> I mean, okay. side rail me. You just like you're. You just like yeah. Steamroll me into. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. I hope you come back on. I'll pick a better movie. <laughs> definitely. No, we'll definitely do this again. Yeah. Yeah. We'll get you to come on ours. It's a bit more. Yeah. We'll find out a bit more about your other side. We'll make you <laughs> we'll make you do your own rap. You can um <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. If you guys don't want to buy Invasion of the Blood Farmers, <laughs> you can you can wa- you can watch it for free on Tubi. Yeah, but it's on YouTube too. Yeah, but you don't want to promote that because, like, mate, th- this person hasn't done a lot of films. If he sees someone's reviewing his movie, he's going to, like, he's going to seek it out. The director's going to watch this. Is he still alive? I would assume so. I don't know. He's going to watch this and he's going to go, copyright infringement on my, <laughs> oh! on my movie. And then take it down off YouTube. So don't watch it on YouTube. Be a good person. Buy the Blu-ray, Tubi. <laughs> Blu-ray, True. DVDs, probably, True. yeah. I mean, it, this movie has a little cult following. I mean, it made it to Blu-ray. It made it to Blu-ray. <laughs> <laughs> it shows you what they're put on Blu-ray. <laughs> this, 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 what we're doing right now, your show, is going to be on Blu-ray one day. <laughs> and we're doing a commentary over it. Well, commentary, I'll commentary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah well that about does it everybody thank you so much for being on my show and i will link last resort watching's youtube channel in the description please subscribe to their channel they're awesome uh thank you so much for watching be movie badness see you guys next time and i love you all bye she is the last queen of the St. Croix, and with her, as she passes into the underworld, it happens. <laughs>